Let's see who else we got. Uh, raise your hand, people. Raise your hand. Because we are in here. Beard Son. All right, let's get Beard Son in here. Beard Son, hop on. Uh, hello? Yes, Mr. Beard Son, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Um, good. Now, where are you calling from? You sound like you're from Canada somewhere. Oh, no, I'm from Kentucky, actually. Okay, there you go. A lot of Kentucky people in here tonight. Not, yeah, I'm not from the poor part like the other guy is. Don't worry, I'm from the oh. affluent part of Kentucky. No, okay, Louisville. Okay. Yeah, Louisville, Lexington. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So what's on your mind? Oh, I'm just uh, listening in, and, you know, I'm really disappointed with all these white supremacists. The banter is just not as good. You know, usually I think these guys are pretty funny, but the, you I know like what I mean? A, I like, hey, man, I welcome a good joke or whatever. I, I would like for them to be a little more witty, you know, just calling up and yelling the N-word. And just be, just be more creative. Yeah. I I mean, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not really, uh, you know, politically correct by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, coming up here and just spamming the N words, just it's low effort, you know, it's making us late racists really look bad. I think, I mean, um, I think there's, there's so many other racist terms that people can come up with, be creative with it, you know, other than just, you know, I'm, I'm eating a, a, a N word baby or like, Oh, come on. That's lazy, dude. You know, but yeah, that's. That was a Somalian dude. He's a wannabe white supremacist. So that's, you know, yeah, that was coming from a whole different place, that whole nonsense. So he's a wannabe. And, and let me ask you this. Um, in, in the white supremacist community, how do you guys feel, honestly, about some of these, especially foreign people who are non-white, who kind of take on your ideologies and try to pander to you guys? You guys know that they're pandering. Guys. How do y'all feel? How do y'all feel about them? When they're not around, <clears throat> um, I mean, look, I'm I'm kind of like an all inclusive racist, really. I would say, <clears throat> you know, if you want to help out, regardless of what what race you are, that's cool. But you're you're more like a cheerleader, you know what I mean? You don't need to be on the front lines, you know, fighting the good fight. You can just you know cheer us on from maybe maybe don't turn the camera on, you know, don't don't take the picture, you know. Um, that's kind of how I feel about it personally. I feel like maybe you don't get on the microphone if you're going to be sounding like you're straight out of the bush. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Now, in the, in the white supremacist community, and now you're out there in Kentucky. Now, there's a lot of militia groups out there. Now, you guys still out there training in the woods and all that stuff? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with any of that stuff, to be honest with you. I think, though, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of gay, if I can be real. Like, you're out yeah. there. You know, out in the out in the you know the field with a bunch of dudes sweating and stuff. I I mean, they need to get that deodorant, really. I think to wash yes, the do. trailer trash off them. <laughs> yes, indeed, my man. All right, thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate you. Yeah, have a good night. All right. <clears throat> All right, right, right. Okay, let's see who else we got. Because we are heavy in here. I'm not getting it. I feel a draft in here, dear. I don't know why it's cold in here. Let me turn my heat up a little bit. Ugh. All right. Let's get Aiden. Let's get Aiden Ali. Now, this guy's from Somalia. Aiden Ali, hop on, man. Trying to get Aiden Ali in here. How's it going, Tyreek? What's up, Aiden? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. So what's on your mind? Uh, what does uh, what does uh, FBA stands for? Now you know what FBA stands for. Now let's let's stop it. Okay, what you mean? Well, I'm asking. Oh, I, I really stop. don't understand. Stop! 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 Now say what's on your mind. Don't come in with a bad faith question. No, for real. Like if I don't have the knowledge of what it is, like you can't explain it to me. <clears throat> Can you do what now? If I don't have the knowledge of what it means, and if I ask you, you can't tell me? Now, you clearly know what it is. Come on, Porch Monkey. Tell me what it is. Porch Monkey? Now, the only Porch Monkey is the one that you got in that bush. <laughs> An intelligent motherfucker. The Porch Monkey was your breakfast. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Over there, hungry and musty. <laughs> That's the porch monkey. The porch monkey you had with some injera, nigga. 
That's the porch monkey. Poor thing. All right. You're the one who's eating some monkey McNuggets, not me. How dare you? All right. Tyree, hey, when he come back to the States, when he come back to America, when he come back from vacation. Okay, you can't even pronounce vacation correctly, sir. I don't give a shit. English not. On Baba Tunde, it's not vacation. All right, now if you didn't have them sticky, musty fingers that's been rubbing giraffe breasts, you would know how to articulate yourself, sir. Now, Mr. Ali, why don't you go get your home? Come, come on now, Tyreek. Let's just conversate. You know, come, you know. Okay, first of all, you're sounding real sultry and moist. Okay, now let's calm down. Let's roll back over off your stomach, dude. You're not at the green card office about to do something funny for some money, all right? Let's let's get that shit together. You sounded way a little bit too sultry for me, all right? Now, now roll back over on your back and get off your stomach and try, stop trying to sound sexy and fix your homeland, sir, all right? All right, let me get some more people in here. Okay. Who do we have? Now, Slick Rick has been trying to get on. Slick Rick, hop on, because you've been raising your hand. I think I've had you on before, Slick Rick, right? Hop on, Slick Rick. Mr. Slick Rick, hop on, sir. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? It's been a while. So what's on your mind, Rick? Dude, you've been getting cooked tonight, man. This is like a rare, bad performance for you. Who's cooking me? Uh, dude, you you were flirting with that gay Romanian for like 10 minutes. I didn't think you swung that way. What kind of weird projecting is that? No, you, dude, that guy who said he was trying to ride some soul. I don't know. Whatever. We, we don't have to get hung up on that. But, uh... yeah, you, you really projecting, guy. What's up? What's up? <laughs> no, dude. I'm just being honest, man. I was, I didn't think you were, I thought you liked the ladies, but. You know, anyways, I'm not going to judge you for that. But um, I, I, I do, I do love the ladies, especially your grandmother. But I had to leave grandma, her alone. dude. Yes, you, I had to leave her alone, dude, because that <laughs> man bust. <laughs> I don't have enough root work for the bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> anyways, yeah, you're into some weird stuff. I knew it. But I did want to congratulate you for. Uh, I think it was pretty brave for you to come out and uh you know you wrote that book about how some jewish guy raped you you know it takes a lot of courage for you to you know write an entire book on that so i want to uh commend you for that well sir <laughs> what projecting you, the weird projection i commend you I can, um i i commend you for the, the you're getting movie. cooked right now no, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're cooking me with your trail park oven. And I commend you for the movie that you did. You did a phenomenal movie. Oh, yeah, um, what was that? It was a great movie um, about white supremacists who are moist, who ride <laughs> motorcycles <laughs> all around D.C. to storm the Capitol. It was called The Biker Bussies. And that was one of my favorite. I loved it. You enjoyed it? I'm no, glad you did. It was phenomenal. I'm I don't glad. Know I'm glad. I, don't, I don't know why you didn't get an Oscar for the biker bussy. <laughs> I know so I got screwed, didn't I? I? Yes, you did in more ways than. <laughs> All right, <laughs> get out of here. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's get some more people in here. All right. Okay, let's see who we got. Let's get um um the flexible. Somebody named the flexible something. What's up, the flexible somebody? Uh, what's hello. Up? Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, Tyreek? Uh, hope you're doing good. Um, peace, God. Peace to the guys. Uh, I just wanted to come through. I ain't got no substance tonight, so sorry. You can cut me off anytime. But like all these dudes that come on here, soft, they soft old ass white man. They ain't got nothing to say. All that comfy stuff. Like, nah, they just internet divers. Don't don't worry about that, man. You you like oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's all. We handling them. This is this light work, man. We having a good time with these people. This is light work. I love it. I love chopping it up with everybody from all walks. 
Oh yeah, the white supremacists, they're light work, you know. It's very entertaining, all right? Let's see who else we got in here. Y'all come on through. Y'all come on through and let's holler. Let's get um, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, hop on. Mr. Albert Einstein, let me see what's... Uh-oh. Yes, sir. It was going on. Thank you for um, letting me speak. Um, I started listening to to you uh, because, you know, frankly, I I wanted to hear uh, different different opinions about various subjects that affect our that affect all of us. And this is just a, this is just a comment. I mean, I now, just am. Let's slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Now, first, where are you from, ma'am? Where are you I'm from? from? Florida. Florida. Okay, got it. Go ahead. So what I wanted to say is, as I've been listening, is that um, it's just very disappointing to me. Like, I don't know if I'm living under a rock somewhere, but I hear some of the things that the, that people say, and I just hear a real propagation of hate. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, could somebody really be joking like that? Is that, is that like a real human being that has feelings that lives in this country that you know, we're, we're supposed to be, we, we've supposed, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering, but just like, I really am so disappointed in humanity after listening to this. I wanted to learn, not hear these people say such terrible things. I don't even know why you, you just don't mute them. I mean, don't even give them any, I, I don't understand why you give them any oxygen well, the thing you see, we're, we're talking to them, and then they just go left and just start talking crazy out of no, the blue. No, they don't even say anything of any substance. They're they're just propagating hate. No, I mean hate goes both both ways. But I just want you to know that I was just like so disappointed because I I mean I'm a lot older than you. Um, yeah. Probably most of these people that are on here, but I just really thought that we came further. And it's very disappointing for me to see. But yeah, but here the thing we're as as a foundational Black American, we're kind of used to it. We we see this stuff all the time, so that's it, it I doesn't. Know you do, but I just right. am so. For me, I don't know anybody like people. I, I don't know anybody like these people that are calling in and saying such terrible things. Like, wh why did they wait? Why do people waste their time? Like, why can't we live in a world where people try and do something productive rather than tearing other people down? It's very mm -hmm. disappointing to me. So, so right. I don't know if you can encourage viewpoint versus encourage um, derog, you know, derogatory comments. Because somebody like me, I want to hear like what what other people think, not not people putting each other down. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I would like for people to call up and be constructive, and if they're going to exactly. troll, like I can, I I don't know how you take it. I'd be hanging up on people. Right. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. But yeah, I, I would like for them, if they're going to troll, to be witty. You know, that's my thing. If you're going to troll, at least be witty about it. All right. All right, let's get um, Yankee. See, now you guys have upset the white women with your racism. Your racism is so bad, you've upset the white women. Andy, I blame Andy. Andy, I'm going to get you back on, Andy. You got the white women upset. Are you Or are y'all going to say she's a Jew? Because <laughs> y'all always... If a white person does something you don't like, they become Jewish. <laughs> That's a Jew. <laughs> oh, Yankee, what's up, man? She's a Zionist, dude. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tariq. I'll, I'll just say, as an ambassador of the white race, uh, if she is white, I kick her out. She's uh, she's no longer a member. Um, now, that was gross. Everything she no. had to say was gross. But that's besides the point. Actually, Why? what I wanted to ask Why? you. Why? No, 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 what? no, no. Why? Oh, why, why? come on, bro. It's just why? cheese. It's standard cheese. No, why? I just want to... Why? Yeah, I just, why? No, wait, slow down. When white people show some humanity and dignity, you guys try to ostracize them. Now, what is that about? She showed humanity... Well, listen, and listen, I, you know, I shouldn't have even brought her up, honestly, because I don't want to waste a second on it. But, no, you're cool with her because she has no issue with the way you kind of uh, present history and the history, if she's white, let's pretend she is. She's you white. have no problem with that, right? So, but, but that's besides the point. Let's, now, let's, how do I, so no, look, no, wait, slow down. Now, how do I portray history though? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Let's just let's cover go. Two, 
two of your 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 favorite issues here. The, Let's go. The ba- the bathing situation and the buck the the buck breaking. I fi- I think it's a weird flex and it's an interesting flex, but I think it shows a huge difference between the black community and the white community here in the states. You view those issues as kind of a flex on a whitey, but we actually view it as like it kind of perpetuates the stereotype of it's it's not it's foundational bisexual Americans that there's this strong bisexual nature within the African American community. And uh, I mean, what do you think about that? It's like no, because no, white because people no, would be embarrassed. Slow, Let's slow say slow down. Slow, slow down, slow down. No, let's slow down. Let's unpack that. Y'all can't have it both ways. You can't say there's a strong bisexual vibe. And then on the same token, they say that the black community is the most homophobic and the most hypermasculine as far as the men. In fact, we're known for being so-called hypermasculine. And we're ashamed for not embracing LGBT more. They the the white media is always trying to shame us for that, sir. So it can't. No, it I can't agree. No, I hear you. I hear you. There. you I'm saying what I'm it's saying? a stereotype. It, you know, I do. No. I do absolutely. I agree with you there. But there is that Why? stereotype, like the prison culture. You know, where it's like these uh, black guys. They get a tranny. You know, they kill her. They don't want their homeboys to find out. You know, all this stuff. But there is no, this no, no, no. no that's have. a projection. Ooh, that's a projection. I mean, the bathing. The, anyway, the Romans no, no, beach. No, no, wait, no, no, wait. We're going to slow this down. No, no. The transgender people getting killed, that's your community who does all that stuff. Oh, let's be very clear. These transgenders who get killed, your community does that stuff. Let's be very clear. Your community has the Jeffrey Dahmer types. There's no black version of Jeffrey Dahmer. Y'all have the Ronald Dominiques. That was another guy out there raping black men and killing them and all that stuff. Your community has that, sir. Historically. Come on now. Let's, oh, yeah. No, on. we got weirdos. We got some. Ed Buck. Your community has that, sir. We can go all the way down the line with with sodomy and, and murder and, and LGBT targeting. And no, no, no. Come on now. Let's come on now. Let's let's talk historically factual. But go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Well, well, let's I guess this is the common theme I see with what I feel like you the foundational black Americans. You think it's a flex on whitey with this this butt break and back. But how, how, how was it? A flex? No, uh, no, 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 no. That no, no, that you, particular issue in the slow down, slow down. You keep saying flex on whitey. All right. What do you mean flex on whitey? History is history. All we're doing is talking about history. Right? Because that movie, Buck Breaking, really ruffled y'all feathers. Why did that <laughs> no, movie no, ruffle? No, 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 none of us Listen, watched it, bro. Stop it. That movie was number one all over the world, and it's an independent movie. Well, yeah, like chicks that last speaker. I'm sure she's probably watched it about four times, but I mean, right. those white guys. No, that, uh, that. Y'all saw that movie. That movie was huge. Y'all saw that movie. It is an independent movie. Okay, if you say so, man. I never heard oh, about no, it until oh, I found oh, you on here. Yeah, you have heard about it. You, you brought it up. You the one brought well, it up. And, and let's like the historical truth to that. I don't know. I mean, I haven't looked into it. I'm actually sure. afraid to. But it, sure. and I haven't checked out your website. But that sounds sure. homo. Slow down, slow down, because you're just babbling right now. This is a bunch of mayo babble. Now, I don't think you actually seen the film. I think that you were on these white supremacist message boards and heard about it. So it doesn't sound like you actually seen the film. Have you, sir? No, absolutely not. I have no interest. There you go. It's, so you it, have it seems it. like fantasy. It's so, homoerotic. So you're, fantasy. you're talking about something. You don't even know what you're talking about. We call that mayo babble. You're doing mayo babble, sir. Um, that I think that movie ruffled the feathers of a lot of suspected white supremacists because we went into your culture. It, we, we were talking about your get down and your culture in Europe and how you experienced other people when you got out of Europe. And it was a lot of buck breaking going on and still going on now. Why, why do you think that's so indicative of your culture? Yankee, go ahead, sir. Well, I don't actually believe it is indicative of my culture. I think it is. 
Well, it's kind of a vibe. There's a there's a very faggy Weimar vibe to all of it, isn't there? This uh, it's kind of what's being pimped on us right now. But the notion that um, no, sir, <laughs> these, so, no. these slave masters were out but fucking the boys. I don't buy it, bro. I mean, but it's cute fantasy and it's a dig. I get it, but I think it's a backfire. I don't think how so. Like, well, here's how. Here's the backfire on it. Like, so if that was white culture and if we, if blacks had owned white slaves, well, in the United States, blacks did own white slaves, but that's besides the point. If this would be part of our. Slow down. Slow down. Now, let me unpack that real quick. What black people own white slaves in the United States? Where? Unmute your mic, because you, you say stuff and then start babbling. No, I said they didn't. I said blacks did own whites as slaves, but not in the United States. Okay, right. Okay, there we go. Now that I agree with. Now let's slow down, because I don't want you to babble. Now, the movie Buck Break, and we talked about how the, the people in your culture came out of Europe, buck breaking. They were buck breaking each other in Europe, in Greco-Roman culture. That was very popular over there, sir. All right? Alex, right? I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. I don't but know. no, maybe nothing. Y'all but, were, but here's if, the thing. If you no, no, not maybe. You go over there now. You look at some of the old murals. They're still doing it. The, the you can see them. I was in Greece. They got murals and artifacts of dudes doing that to each other. Now, is That's that where you I, got the idea it, to make the movie? It's, in, it's ingrained in the culture over there, sir. And then when your your people left Europe and started to encounter the Aboriginal people. They were violating the males, still are, the Catholics over there in Africa. They violate the males in Europe. All right, a, okay. That, part of your that's, culture. It's, it's great, it's great. But here's here's the point, I think, where right, it shows the, the major difference in our, in our two particular cultures here in the States, the black and white culture, is right. if that was actually part of white culture, our history, We'd be so ashamed, right, that we were getting broken by the master, black master. That's not something we would perpetuate. So we'd we'd kind of move things along and get along with life, right? But no, but, but, you, know, but no, no, you, no, 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 no. See, that's you not. You think right. it's like something to? You think you're like? No, no, stop, stop. You're trying to be witty, and you're not. See, we're honest about history. See, we don't. We're not going to lie about history. So we don't have to repeat that stuff. Because the thing is, if we try to ignore what happened, we will tend to ignore what's going on now. See, the buck-breaking tactics that your people engaged in, they still try to do it now. They still do the same thing right now. They've never changed. When we got out of the plantations, the buck breaking, they were lynching people, and the white supremacist males were fighting each other over, over the black male genitalia. They would hang, string they naked white people too, you know. Yeah, they would string naked black people up, and white men would men would stare and gawk at naked black men fighting Did over they the butt genitalia. Break they they would take their genitalia. So this is a part of your culture. That was a homoerotic thing within itself. I, I think I'd love a real historian to look at it. I, I'm just not buying it. I suspect it's like an old wise tale from, you know, one what? of your great there's grandmas pictures, or something. There's pictures of your people sitting up there gawking at naked black men being hung up. So oh, that's, yeah, that's a different subject. Lynching. Yeah, no, that's different. But uh, well, what you think? You think that these white slave owners, who we know were raping the black women because of the children, we know that. You think they weren't doing it to some of the dudes? No, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm sure there was probably a couple faggy uh, slave masters. But I just, you know, the notion that this was like a common thing, I think it's. I I find it. I think it's a little homoerotic. It it just comes off weird because that's that's your culture. We're talking about your culture. That's your okay. culture. Well, it was, that's, it was well, that's what you say, but I don't buy it, I guess. Sir, y'all do that same homoerotic stuff now. You get a couple of white supremacist dudes together, y'all always start doing something weird and homoerotic. You start playing with each other's bussies, and y'all do weird shit. Y'all do, and you and joke I mean, about it. I guess we can funny. say the same thing. You think it's funny. You know, y'all do little weird stuff to each other. And again, the, the, the buck breaking that you try to push on us now 
you elevate certain buck broken artists like the little Nas X's of the world. <laughs> we're not push, you, we're not pushing that. Yeah, yes, that is your community pushing that stuff, sir. Y'all push that stuff no, on us. I, right this is now. fantasy. You're you're a fantasy writer. It's it's homoerotic fantasy. That's what you you're involved. No, this is this is touching a nerve because you know it's your culture, and hit dogs holler as they say. There's an old no. saying, holler, and it's hitting you because you know that's your culture, sir. And it's been your culture, and it's the culture now. So this is why we try to warn black people, hey, this stuff that they're trying to push on us, this is the same stuff they were pushing during slavery. So we reject it. You understand? I think a lot of you guys are accepting it. Because you use it it as a form of warfare. It's a form of warfare against us. So yes, we're going to warn each other about the harsh realities of how these white supremacists try to sexually violate us. All the, time. the bathing, the blacks teaching whites to bathe. Come on, yeah. bro. Like the Romans got you beat by hundreds of years. And, and it's ironically, dude, you see the more the, the Moorish bathhouses, they no longer exist. Well, the right. older Roman ones all throughout Europe, they still exist. So what's sir, up? Come on. R- the Romans sir, got stop. you beat, but it goes with the your Roman erotic theme. Dude, if you don't stop, okay, you sound like you're Italian. Are you Italian, by the way? Are you Italian? I'm Irish and English, but <laughs> okay. So don't talk about what the Romans got beat. You go to we, Rome, we've been Rome, for a long time. Rome, Rome. Stop it. Rome and Italy is raggedy now. They never rebuilt Rome. You got ruins from a thousand years ago. So don't talk about what Rome got somebody beat. What Y'all, was going on in Sub-Saharan stop, Africa a thousand stop, years ago? Stop. 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 First, we're talking about Rome right now. Let me talk about Rome. Then we'll talk about Sub-Saharan Africa. Rome ain't been shit in a thousand years other than people going over there to see the ruins that y'all never cleaned up, all right? Y'all well, didn't you even fix the damn... people going over there pretty quick right now. Um, y'all, yeah, I like pizza and, um, and, and spaghetti, goddammit. Um, and y'all did never even black fixed... The, pizza? You never even fixed the Leaning Tower or pizza. The shit is still leaning, all right? That's so, a good point. You got me. Um, right. So don't brag about what the Romans are doing. And then when the, the, I'm just the vandals, about the and when, the, they, and when the they vandals, beat and, they beat and, the and, blacks. And, no, 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 no. The vandals beat the Romans, the Romans, the vandals went and sacked the they shit. They were white. They were white. Yes, they were. And sacked it and, and brought y'all into the dark ages. But and they weren't black building daddy, bathhouses. And, and the it Romans. was black. On, no, 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 stop it. The, the, the bathhouses um, became dilapidated and they used them for toilets. And it was black daddy, the Moors, who had to come on in there and get shit. To <laughs> weren't the Moors, they, were, they weren't sub Saharan though, right? They were North Africa. Yes, they, they were. They were like an olive skin, right? A dark olive. Stop right? it. No, stop it. No, the descriptions of the more I mean, they talked like about black how black olive, but like a dark like, kind of green. Olive. Stop with that stop with the olive shit. No, they would the more that's a descriptive term. More means black. That was the term that they used for black people at the time. And the original army came from I the mean, area now. But like Arab, more Arab, you know what I mean? They stop, weren't like sub Saharan, right? Come on. Stop. Stop. Yes, they were. The original Moorish army came in from Senegal to Morocco over there to Gibraltar. So stop it, sir. Well, with they some were sub-Saharan black. warrior slaves, castrated they were, slaves. No, no, because you had some Moorish leaders over there. And, uh, Maybe Moorish that's Gemini. where the butt breaking that, begins. That's where with the, the Islamic. Sir, uh, sir, 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 slow down, would you? Because your trolling ain't even witty. You're, you're 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 trying to troll through the pain. All right, that's why your trolling is getting desperate. There's a reason why them Spanish women are darker than the rest of the Europeans. That wasn't because of an olive skin person, sir. That was Black Daddy doing that. Okay. Well, he must have hit it and quit it pretty fast because there's no, no, they, they, white. no, they, no, no, Spanish women. Come on now, they, they don't look like the Anglo's and the Spanish women used to be blonde, but when Black Daddy put that soul pole on them, it is. They got that nice dark melanated hue. Maybe. But it must have right? been quick. Like I mean, he must have been. It wasn't only that there quick. No, like the, the, the white 10, women. twenty when years. They got the hell out. When they, when, no, when them. No, they were there for like seven, eight hundred years. When them white women saw them well, black, they more, should still be black, right? What are you talking about? Well, if what you're saying is true, wouldn't Spanish women still be black today? No, because they had a reconquista, and they started having blood quantum. Oh, and then, and then Whitey started banging all the black girls into white girls again. Uh, 
is what you're saying. Him. Come on, bro. Trolling it didn't make it sense. You're trolling. You're just saying real trolling shit that don't make no sense. No, what you say makes no what sense. But it's comical. You're, you're, but it's you're, not it's as not comical witty. as you're your you're trying, erotic fantasy. You're, you're, that trying, is truly... you're trying to be witty. You're try, and you're projecting, sir. You're trying to troll and project with failed wit because the movie Buck Breaking is talking about your culture. And you say you're Irish and English. And you better thank Foundation of Black Americans for giving you a place to flee to, to get the hell out of the slums of Ireland. All right? Right. No trolling, bro. I appreciate you. I think you're hilarious. And you're definitely above 86 IQ. That comment was outrageous. And uh, yes, and, I disavow it. Uh, and, but and Lisa, your history, I, I, it's, it's sir, funky. Sir, it's funky. Sir, sir, my family didn't have to flee from anywhere. Like your family had to flee from Ireland because they were beating each other over the head for a potato. So you better thank Foundation of Black Americans for letting you come over with your homoerotic fantasies to be slave overseers with your butt breaking. And we had to stop no, that. We stayed up north. No, no butt breakers in my family, bro. None. We are straight up northern stock. In fact, I believe the blacks owe my ancestors reparations for dying to free your ass. Well, you didn't die to free anything, sir. Um, it was I foundation. know the blacks actually did all the heavy lifting. Right? Yes, we did. Yes, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all were up there in Boston stealing tea. Y'all weren't doing shit. You weren't doing anything. That's but, that's the wrong <laughs> war, bro. That's the wrong war. Come on. <laughs> you were stealing tea up there in Ireland. So I mean, I, I mean, up in Boston. So you were up there in Boston, funking up a, a log cabin somewhere, <laughs> needing some deodorant. So you better stop it. And and give it up for Foundation of Black Americans for creating a beautiful country so that you can flee to, sir. My grandma never saw a black guy until 1972. It was Jimmy That's Carter uh, campaign. That's the lie. truth, bud. That's a lie. Your There's grandmother no was probably in the Midwest and, and, and man, your until grandmother they incentivized was, you to come out of Chicago. Man, your grandmother, the white women were hippies. They were hankering for black dick in the 60s and lying about it. Your grandma had black dick. <laughs> not, not around her, here, buddy. Not, her, in, in your, fact, your, still not. Your, not, your grandmother, your grandmother, shit. your grandmother fucked one of the temptations. All right. Uh, <laughs> no. so stop. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. These white women be up you here lying. There. She, she, yeah, she, there was a, she was into the black man. She called you guys yeah, darkies. There's, there's a reason why they like Motown so much. All right. Because they were going to pound town. I didn't on that see old... a darkie until 1972 and that <laughs> communist Jimmy Carter. Okay. That fell flat. Let's try again. Let me give, give me another. Uh, 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 no, that's my grandma that invitation. Was... That's, that, that's, okay, that, that is that an was... actual quote though. So she okay, was sure now that all the, blacks were communists. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, there we go. With that, I gotta let's get some more people on. Now the wit is just getting painfully corny. All right. Andy, let me get Andy back in here. We got another Andy, talk to me about your white supremacist brethren. Andy, what's wrong? Your, your, your white supremacist brethren, I'm trying to make sure their wit is on point. They don't have your wit, Andy. At least your wit is somewhat I mean, that shit suck, dude. We ain't, we're not it's three in the morning. We're not trying to do a fucking history lesson. Tariq, you just been sweeping the floor with these people left and right. Yeah, yeah. that was funny. This- the woman that came up like each other. Come on now. There's no. There might be some hate underlying on either side, but I think what's going on here is just some jokes. And, you know, this guy wants to talk about Rome and and their bathhouses. What they didn't have was Rootworks deodorant, and they didn't have the lavender (laughs) scents, and they didn't have vanilla. So, I mean, what is this guy even talking about? (laughs)
I I was never muting myself. You muted me. But anyways, I, because, uh, you okay, are but, but, disingenuous How? and you're passive aggressive and How? thus your premise is bunk. Reflect on. And that's all I have to say. You're not explaining, ma'am. I don't know what you mean, ma'am. Ms. Cassandra, how am I being disingenuous, ma'am? Ms. Cassandra? And who am I being passive aggressive to, Cassandra? That's interesting that you, the, we've had people call up talking about N word babies and all types of vile anti black racism, but I'm disingenuous and she got out of here. Boy, that's a, a mouthful. Boy, you just ignored all of these white supremacists that's calling up here, ma'am. And she couldn't say what I said that was disingenuous. You can't say what I'm saying is incorrect or not right. What did I touch a nerve on, ma'am? When I'm talking about the history, what, what am I saying anything that's incorrect? Um, I'm, I'm talking history here. I'm just talking history. Now, where, where are the people in the dominant society? Am, am I saying anything incorrect? Let me know if I'm saying anything that's not on the mark. It's, what time is it? One, two, three. It's almost four in the morning on the East Coast, and we have over 1,200 people in here. We're doing something right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's raise your hand. I want to I talk to somebody in the dominant society. Let me know what I've said that was incorrect in here. All right, let me get um, Ambrosia. This is here. Let me get Ambrosia in here. Because I want to talk to some people in the dominance. <clears throat> Ambrosia? Yes, hi, Tariq. Long-time listener. How are you? I'm good, dear. How are you? Good, good, good. I normally, I'm just listening. I normally don't pop in. Because the, the trolls get on my nerves and I get triggered. I'd be like, what's the point of even listening to this? But I got to say something. First off, I understand why the white dude was upset saying, oh, you know, she's this, she's that. The white woman was like, oh, this is so sick. Because it was a it, it was disingenuous. If she really cared about and was so concerned about the hate that was being spewed, then she take that shit to her family members. She go into these white nationalist groups and she tell that shit to them. They always bring that to us. They always want us to take the moral high ground. And that gets on my nerves. Like, stop, it's phony. I guarantee you she don't call out the white people when she or run they around and they comfortable and they talking crap about us and saying the N-word that and N-word this. I guarantee you she don't call out her white colleagues, her white friends, her white family members. So no, you just as bad as they are because you allow it and you agree with it. The fact that you don't call it out. And I know for a fact, I'll admit, I'm an ex-bad witch. My ex-husband is white. Uh oh. So I know. And guess what? They don't like to wash their ass. I had to teach him how to wash his. So <laughs> it just is it, it, it one of those things I didn't realize until after I got into the marriage. Like, mm. oh my God, it is what it is. It was it was short lived. It was annulled yeah. after four months. I oh, understood wow. what I was doing and I got the hell up out of there. But the yes, fact of the matter is, it's in their family. I know for a fact it is ingrained in their family. I went to go visit his family for the first time. His grandfather died in the basement in Wyoming, not show you was super white. I'm in Wyoming helping him clear out stuff that is from his grandfather. And I see white supremacist this, coon this, KK this, kill the nigger baby this, all this white supremacist memorabilia. I was like, I can't handle baby by this man. Mm. And the thing about it is he know it. I'm the type of black chick. <laughs> I can't be one of them where I'm, I'm a black woman. I know I'm a black woman. You can't escape it. When you look at me, I am a black woman. My brother is black. My father is black. Everybody is black. So I can't sit up there because I'm in white company thinking that you let you think because I'm in white company, you can get away with saying racist stuff in front of me. That's not going to happen. You might as well be spitting in my face and I'm not saying anything. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So get it, whatever. But the thing about it is that woman knows for a fact where it comes from because she grew up in it and she's lying. 
And Miss, uh, what is her name? Catherine, she didn't take her fat ass, drunk ass to bed. What Cassandra, whatever her name is. She was drunk and she need to go home. She need to go to bed. It's two o'clock in the morning. But I'm yes, just, indeed. I'm so sick and tired of it. They come to us telling us that we're the ones that should look past this and, you know, forgive and put, you know, no, no, because we've done all that. We have done all that. And it's like, uh, no matter how we say it, whether we're articulate, whether we're soft, or whether we are shouting, it does not matter to them because all they see us is less than human because they truly see us for what we really are. It's all projection. It is right. all projection. Old dude talking about the... um. The, the little psycho white boy that's talking about the bathing and the bathhouses in Rome. I was a flight attendant. I've been to Rome. I've been to Italy. I've been to Germany. I visited at least three different ruined coliseums. Know that the bathhouses are not standing there. He's lying and that motherfucker ain't never been nowhere. I'm sorry. Real talk. Exactly. I'm exactly. Sorry. I mean, I'm sorry, but he's never been anywhere. And anybody can be a real historian. Historian, all you got to do is look it up. Google is your friend. You literally have a smartphone in your hand. So I want to hear from a real historian. You be a real historian. Look up those dates. Look up those facts. Pull up information that refutes everything that you say. But they can't do that because they know they're lying. Has anybody forgot about Caligula? Because I know I saw it. I know I, the debauchery. This is what they do. It is ingrained in them. And instead of denying it, they need to admit it so they can deal with it. Because mm -hmm. as long as they continue to lie to themselves about it, it is never going to be deal with it. And it's going to be a sickness that is going to be a part of their culture until the day they die. This is one of the reasons why they are dying out now. They were not meant to last this long. And that's what it all is about. So. They are all insane. They don't bathe. It's just projection. Uh, but thank you so much, beloved. I appreciate the call. But yeah, that was heavy when the sister said that um, she went to um, her ex dude's parents' cribs or grandparents' cribs and went down in their basement and saw all that white supremacist memorabilia. That's in a lot of those families' homes. A lot of those families' homes, they got that. A lot of that. Wangle, hop on. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Wangle, where are you from? I'm from uh, some place in the world. No specific <laughs> location, but I wanted yeah. to, I wanted to confront the point you made earlier. In good Funky. faith. Okay, go ahead. No, go. Uh, you, you said that you said that you stipulated that the Moors were black or sub-Saharan African. That's yeah, they were. Really, my friend. There's uh, been genetic sampling from Iberia for the last 8,000 years. You can go and check it on nature. And uh, they've sampled many Andalusian Muslim era graves from uh, Spain, right? In Andalusia, in southern France from the Umayyad period. There's no black Berbers. There's only one conflation with the issue is that there's a depiction of the Al Moravid leader called Abu Bakr ibn Omar. And in the Atlas, the Catalan Atlas, they depict him on a camel in black skin. That is a fake. It's not the real Atlas Catalan. The real one is depicted as white. In his own biography, right, he writes, his autobiography, he writes that he's from the Sanhaja Berber clan and he has uh, uh, origins in Yemen. That's what he writes himself. Also, Yusuf bin Tashfin wrote then the why, same thing. Why did they use the term more, which meant black at the time? More means more, comes from the word moro, that means Muslim black. in Portuguese now. Because no, what the Portuguese it. no, it, hold on. The Portuguese, right? Hold on. The Portuguese in the naval expedition that went to Gujarat, India, which is a Muslim port town in India, they described them as Moors. The, the 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 Portuguese went to Mogadishu in Somalia, right? Which is a Muslim country. What you're saying is a lie. You're not gonna babble your way through it. Moor does not mean Muslim because there were Christian Moors. Saint Benedict was a Christian. There were no Moor. Christian Moors, my friend. Moor could Benedict. also, it has many different meanings. Saint many Benedict was a Christian Moor. Estevanico was Christian and a Moor, who was the one of the early explorers in the Americas that the Spanish brought over with them. His name was Estev Estevanico the Moor. You're not going to lie. All right? No, no, no. You're not going to talk in bad faith. You're not going to do, I'm white and My I say friend, something. I don't care what you say. You can... I don't care. You're not going to lie. 
You're not going to do I might not say so. People Google St. Benedict the Moor, who was a Christian Moor. There were several Christian Moors. All right? St. Maurice. St. Benedict was, is from Italy. We're talking about Iberia here. Are we? St. Benedict was a black Moor. There were black Moors in Italy. The, or, the black Moors were ruling parts of Italy. You're not going to lie, sir. Slow down. You're not going to do that. We don't do I'm white and I say so. You had a black Moor, St. Maurice the Moor, who's all over Germany, who was a Christian. He wasn't Muslim. You're not going to sit and tell us. Uh, so do I lie. care what Germans and Italians interpret the word more to mean, or do I care about what <laughs> Iberian people interpret? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, history cares. It don't matter if you don't care. History is history. You don't sit. You don't get to say I don't care. I'm white and I say so. No. So this history. Is the there's samples. There's genetic samples. Hey, there are no samples of nothing. That's a lie. There are no samples of anything, sir. That's a lie. The Moors that were up there in Spain were black. There's paintings of them now in museums all over the place. They There's were no black. paintings. The only paintings of Moors, they're blonde and they have ginger hair. You haven't seen no. the in Cordoba. They literally have ginger hair and ginger beards. What are you talking about? Those, Should were, I pull the, it off those, those were the converts. Oh, the local the, Iberian converts. Those were the converts. Those were the Spanish people who converted to Islam, sir. Stop it. You, I done no, been up no. there, dude. Yes. Okay, yes. what was the leader of the expedition into uh, into Andalusia dude, called? What's his name? Dude, Tariq Ibn Ziyad. Tariq Ibn Ziyad is a Mawali of who? Who is he? He's like a liaison for the Umayyads in North Africa. What's his name? And the army that he had, they came from the area now known as Senegal. When they got Tariq. there, <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. You can babble and laugh all you want to. Go look up this. Uh, let me talk to the audience here because we want to, we're going to talk facts, not on white and I say. So let me have you, let's do some Google. If you can bring me one primary source that backs what you're look saying, up, I will delete my Twitter bro. account and I'll hang look, myself. I will literally babbling. hang myself. Tariq Ibn Ziyad. Stop babbling because you sound like you're a pale skinned Arab. And you're babbling. You don't what have you... one proof, right? There's no Islamic historiographers, right, who wrote down that they were black. They were Berber, they were Amazi from North Africa, from Berber, the East Berber. region, which are very Southern European shifted. You, you stop. You're not going to babble. No, 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 no. You're not going to babble. The Moors, most of them were black. Moor was a descriptive term. It didn't mean Muslim. You had very prominent Moors who were black. There was a term in Europe called black as a moor. That's how black they were. So why when the Portuguese went to Gujarat in India, they referred to them as moors? Why did they refer to the, the people of Mecca as moors? Why did they refer to the people of Kilwa, which is a... a... Okay, you, you're just babbling. You're just babbling. You do not why... know what they're talking about, Tariq Nasheed, eh? you just uh, why you're did, lost. Why did... Okay, dude, you're not going to babble. You're not... You're not going to babble. You're just babbling because you're trying to lie, and I'm calling out your lies. Or you don't have the appropriate information at hand. No, right? You know, because you can't recall your information you're properly. That's your problem. Anyway, you're trying to talk your way out of it. I didn't okay, say. Look, you can go and look at the Omeyad experience, uh, sir. You're just babbling. So, let, well, I got you muted. I have to mute you. Go look up the Song of Roland that was written at the time the Moors came into. Spain, the Iberian Peninsula. It was written in contemporary times. In the Song of Roland, they describe what the Moors looked like. They said they were black as pitch, black as midnight, nothing white except their eyes and their teeth. They couldn't get no blacker, dude. Go look up some of the paintings. Go look up Wild Men and the Moors. That was a painting done, a tapestry done, that's in Germany now. Done in... Uh, 14th century. It depicts the Moors in castles, jet black. At the Getty Museum out here in Los Angeles, they got um, a book depicting the Moors from medieval times called Moses versus the Moors. It shows the Moors as jet black because in Spain, they burned a lot of the Moorish documents and things like that. But you still have museums that have contemporary works showing what the Moors look like. So 
Now you give some proof. I'm, I'm giving you names, books, museums, dates. You're just babbling. What did the Portuguese say to the Indians? You ain't saying nothing. You're just babbling, dude. That don't work here. All right. We have genetic evidence from Iberia. There's a genetic no, sampling you... done. Do you want to see it? From graves no. of the era. You want to see contemporary graves sampled? I'll show you. It's in southern southern France in the 8,000-year Iberian genetic study on nature. You can go and download the uni parentals and run it in G25 yourself. They're what North I African. They're EM81 that. carriers, and they're 100% Berber. Some of them. Berbers, many of the Berbers were black. Berbers is like language based. That's like saying somebody is 100% Hispanic. There's black Hispanics. There's black Berbers. Berbers is not language based. They're genetic components comprised of Ibero Marisian and no, Anatolia no, Neolithic farm. No, it ain't. And no, it ain't. It's, it's language based. That's like Hispanic. There's black Hispanics. There were lighter Hispanics. Y'all try to, if they were yeah, Berbers. I know black speak. They were Berbers, they would have called them just Berbers. They wouldn't use the term more. More was a description. They didn't term. refer to themselves as Berbers, you dummy. They didn't call themselves. And, they, and, the, and the people didn't refer to themselves as Moors. The white people referred to them as that. It, it was wasn't a singular army that crossed. It was an army of Arab Umayyads, Berbers, and some yeah. other auxiliaries from other places in the Umayyad Empire, which is run from Damascus. Not the from Moors were black, sir. There's a reason why the southern it, um, Europeans are darker. Why are they darker? Let me, a, you, they, let me ask you a question. I bet is, 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 oh, no. Why are they darker, sir? Is it the Mediterranean? Why are, Filipino, are Filipinos also black? Yeah. Negritos, yeah. They're black. Too. Melanesians are not black, you dumb fucking nigger, bro. Aboriginals okay, are not black either. Just, they have no relation to you. They're Eurasian people of Eurasian stock, okay, not okay, sub-Saharan. Okay. No, we don't we don't do that. Now you I'm, you're getting frustrated and talking about nigga and you're a sand nigga. <laughs> so we two niggas sitting in the tree. <laughs> talking about nigga like you ain't got African DNA. <laughs> Listen to your accent. Your accent is more nigga than mine. <laughs> you dumb nigga. And you said it with a, a rolling R. Nigga. Hum ni 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 hum na nigga. You you're more nigga than me. <laughs> How, how dare you? <laughs> Tariq, you you're dumb and you're black. Okay, this is a curse where I'm from. Where I'm from, this is like a generational curse. Listen, nigga, you, listen to your accent. You're a sand nigga. If I'm a nigga, you're, they, they refer to you as a sand nigga. <laughs> you, you still have an accent. I'm not getting offended by what you're saying and muting the other. You're muting me. Let me continue on with my conversation. You're and turn it you're Tariq, you're, you're not a more. You're, you're pre I, I, hey, more means black. I'm a black person. More does more not mean black. It means Muslim, yeah, bro. What are you talking about? I mean, damn Muslim. All right. Tariq, let now me you ask you, if you're so great, how come in Senegal there's not one building, one minaret taller than 10, 10 meters high and not made out of straw? Shit. I Why? don't live in no Senegal. I'm a foundation. Why in the America? entirety of Congo, it means a Congo, Africa. I'm there's not one I'm single stone structure I'm ever. Foundational Black American, the place that you want to flee to. Uh huh. I'm a foundational Black American, dude. I don't have nothing to do with what's going on in Senegal right now. I'm over here where my family built that you're driving a cab in, dude. You understand? Well, 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 Tariq, listen. You're well, not well, American. Well. You're from Benin. You're a slave. A, you had castrated. I'm, I'm, they tied your legs up and dumped you in a in a oh, ship no, and trafficked you. Foundational Black American, sir. In no, your you're home, not. You're over a slave there, of you. in the Middle East, where you're from, there's slavery if you want going. You flex on us as being a European. Don't you dare! There's slavery going on in your homeland in the Middle East now. So don't yeah, you dare. Yeah, black slavery. One hundred percent black slavery. One hundred percent. And your black ass too. Okay. You are want to be white. You're black ass too. We're not what, bro. We are what we are. But you no, no, are not uh, content with uh, being a Negro. Uh, you're not content with being a Congoid from the Congoid uh, basin. You hate sir, it. Sir, you're considered a sand nigger by then. And you are considered something the closest human to a chimp. I'm, I'm Everyone knows this. You have prognosis. I'm a foundational black American who didn't flee and drive a cab somewhere after I fled. I didn't flee somewhere to go drive a cab, nigga. That's what I am, like your ass, musty, eating a falafel in a cab. That's not what I am, sir. 
That's why you're so upset. That nigga don't nigga nigga this and that don't bother me at all. Eric, you the, you the one who gay sex in jail. You blacks are having gay butt sex in jail, eating each other's anal crevices out with your mouths. How dare you talk about hygiene and respect? Dude, and dignity? You're fucking that, black. Look at you. That, you have mandibular prognathism like a chimpanzee. Shut your mouth, you cunt. Dude, dude, you musty and you smell like burnt baklava. All right? And you're very upset because you had to flee your homeland. Okay, I didn't get him out of here. He got out of here. He's going to sit up and try to lie about the Moors. No, no, no. You don't get to do that. It is some DNA. How many me have that? No, ain't no damn DNA nothing. You're not going to lie while you're sitting in your cab waiting on rides to, to pick up. You know, you don't get to lie, sir. It don't work like that. Now, we, we do real history here. We don't do I want to be white and I say so. We do not do that. I'm a little bit in Senegal. Then nah, who gives a damn? I ain't in no Senegal. I'm not Senegalese. But the the, the wannabe white supremacist, he, because he's a wannabe, he's not a real white supremacist. They always trying to throw Africa at us like that's a dig on us. Dude, we ain't, we ain't been in Africa in centuries. That's not a dig on us. In Africa, they're hungry. I ain't, I ain't hungry. <laughs> We living good over here as foundational black Americans and the shit we built. Shout out to the, the African brothers and sisters, but you know. Hold on, let's get some more folks in here. All right, Steven, let's get Steven in. All right. Hello, how are you? How are you, Tariq? I'm good, Steven. How are you? You know, I'm doing quite fine. Thank you for asking. Um, so what's up? Yeah, I was just, uh, I just had one question. See, um, I'm one fourteenth black. In that, co- no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. I actually am on my mother's side. No, 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 no. But no, let no, me no. let me finish my question, please. Let's uh, let's no, have no, a conversation. No. Steve, Steve, what part of the Middle East are you from? I'm not from the Middle East. I'm from New Zealand. Uh, okay, there you go. New Zealand is different. Okay, what part of New Zealand are you from? I'm from Wellington. Well, okay. Are you part of the Maori tribe or any no, tribe? No, 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 no. But okay. my mother is actually from San Francisco, so I have birthright citizenship in America. That's where I get my one fourteenth black from. Mm-hmm. So my question was actually. Wait, no, 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 no. That don't make sense. No, 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 no. How do... Your well, mother. What does not... it make sense? Your mother's not black. No, she. You know, we follow the one drop rule. You know. So she's black, and I'm black as well? No, your mother's not black, because you wouldn't have that janky accent. No, no, I am black. I, You know, I feel disrespected that you, you have to deny me from my community. Have, you, got, you haven't even worked your lie out. Listen, so, I'm 114th no, black. Why are you trying to deny me? Okay, the, first, you couldn't even get your lie out, so now your, your troll punchline is going to fall flat already, because you didn't even get the lie out. Now let's go. Let's hear your troll punchline. Go ahead, Steve, because this is about to fall flat because you didn't even get your 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 origin story lie together yet. But go ahead. Anyways, yeah, since I'm one fourteenth black, and unfortunately, uh-huh. that comes with the urge to buy Cadillacs and Jordans. Do I qualify in getting reparations? <laughs> Was it, you had to work on it. See, you yes. got to. Do I qualify for reparations? Okay. You you had to get the premise right first. See the premise, you fucked it up. See, you fucked the punchline up, dude. By not having the premise set up correctly. See, I, I knew a corny, cheesy punchline was coming because the the you didn't set the lie up properly. All right, work on the lie next time, and then the punchline to pay off like you needed to pay off. Okay. But do I qualify for reparations? I want to buy Cadillacs and Jordans. And you got to update your stereotypes too, sir. You got to update your stereotypes because uh, I don't even believe you're from New Zealand either. I don't believe that. I Why not? Why not? Because I think you're in the Middle East somewhere, and I think I hear camel hooves in the back, so you're not from New Zealand, sir. Go feed that camel, all right? Go feed the camel, and let me let you go, all right? Okay, let's see who else we got. Yeah. He was setting up the premise, and it was falling flat while he was setting it up, and yeah. Okay, let's get Remington in here. 
And by the way, speaking of musty, um, get your root work deodorant at rootworkstyle.com. Rootworkstyle.com. That last caller reminded me of must. So rootworkstyle.com. Remington, hop on, sir. Uh, hi there, Tarek. Um, I visited Albania and I I was brutally, uh, you know, a lot of people said a lot of racist things at me. Uh, what should I do? Uh, everybody kept calling me nigger. Uh, you know, what, what, how can I respond to that? I just put up on the Jumbotron. I made a YouTube video of myself being racially profiled in Albania. What can I do? Okay, well, what you can do is come up with some better material. Okay? Because that fell flat, too. All right. Let me see. Let's get some other people in here. Okay, let's get um uh, let's get Don Juan. Let me get Don Juan in. For the Don Juan, hop on. Don Juan, hop on. All right. Yo. What's up, Don Juan? Hey, look, I noticed a pattern with the the Africans. They tell us that we come from West Africa. The so-called Native Americans, they like to say we come from West Africa. That guy said the Moors is really the Berbers. He didn't notice a pattern with everybody. It seemed like they're trying to tell us we definitely came from West Africa. I just been noticing that narrative being pushed. Yeah, they always do that. You know, they, they always say that. And, I mean, a lot of people came from parts of Africa. You look at anybody's DNA... You'll see that. And also with these DNA tests, man, it's certain markers that they put out there. That's why they don't really tell you anything. It's That's real vague. Everybody came from some part of Africa. That don't mean anything. Um, you can get some Native Americans who are red skin, and you might be able to trace some Asian DNA there. You dig? So it's it's really vague with some of those DNA tests. That's why it's very important to understand the, the lineage, which we do. We as Foundation of Black Americans, fortunately, we're able to trace our lineage farther back um, than most people because our experience has been very well documented. A lot of people from around the world, they can't trace their shit back to the 18 and 1700s like that. They really can't do that. Because they came from places where they were fleeing left and right and the countries were getting remixed and all of that stuff. We've, as Foundation of Black Americans, we've had a pretty consistent lineage and we didn't flee nowhere. So our documents and our records have been meticul meticulously kept as far as our lineage, more so than other people. You see, just like we, we've had some of these Europeans call up and and some Middle Easterners or whatever, and you talk to them and they don't really have no ties with the old country. The minute they the family flees, it's it. They, they act like that other country don't really exist. They don't really correspond with those people over there. So, you know, they ain't got no records going back over there to what's going on. And even when they were over there, they weren't keeping records like that. So they don't really know. So, yeah, but the FBA family, don't let these folks run a game on you. Our history is very well rooted. That's why, again, we have that certain energy that a lot of folks don't have. That's where all that anger is coming in from. We're very rooted as foundational black Americans. And a lot of these other people are not. That's why they're calling up with these weird accents yelling nigga. They don't know who they are. And then they try to remix history on us. Now, what's this dude here? Let's get only one. This dude has a a camel logo. Is that a camel? Okay, where are you from, brother? Only one. I, I'm from Egypt, bro. And I, could, uh, I do live in America. And I could trace my history really, 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 really far back possibly uh, to the Prophet Muhammad's days, but I only came up to see how, no, far, stop, how stop. far back could you trace? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop. 
okay. If you don't stop now, right there, now you, you, your, your troll premise has already fallen flat there. Telling that lie, your troll premise has fallen flat. Now let's go. Let's hear the, let's hear your punchline. No, there ain't no punchline. I mean, if you want to punch, if you want to call me a troll, bro, you can call me a troll. I really just because yeah, that lie you just told, there's a punchline coming. That bullshit. It, it ain't a lie. It just shows how insecure about your lineage is, right? So how far back could you really trace yours? Farther than yours. Farther than yours, because you're not far. Free. Um, I can go to the 1700s. <laughs> you could go to the 1700s. That's uh, it. Sir, can you stop chewing that baklava? Damn. But that's it, though. So, no, Sir, 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 you you can't be chewing and trolling at the same time. Real, sir, swallow real talk, real talk, real talk. Okay, so, swallow the camel soup. Okay, go ahead. Now, no, no, seriously. Now, where you, you, can, now, now, where you, you from? Can, now, where? Now, you where can, you can from? only trace. Oh, slow down. Now, where are you from, Ahmed? For real, for real. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, Ahmed, hop on, man. All right, buddy. Relax, relax. Now, where so are you how, from? Where, you said, you where said you said in from? the seventeen hundreds, right? How far where, back? I'm, like, no, 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 no. Do you hear me asking you a goddamn question? This ain't Seven Eleven. You're not running nothing. I'm asking you something, and you're still trying to babble. I know it's all it's all right, bro. Relax. If I need to fix a slurry machine, then you talk. But I'm asking you something, sir. All right. You said you said the 1700s, right? So yeah, how far, where are you? Like, what? No, no, where? No, where are you from? Where are you from? So wh where's your? You said you're from Egypt. I don't believe you're from Egypt. Where are you from? I told you where I'm from, Bo. You're so not from Egypt. Where you, you said. From? Why? Why aren't I from Egypt? Why? Why do you think I'm not from Egypt? You're not from Egypt. Why not? I can tell you're not from Egypt. How, and how, if, how could you tell? How and, could you tell? And you're, and you're not. And if you were, you're, <laughs> how could you tell, bro? You just happen. making shit up? Are you a loser? No, you, you're, you're, you're not. You're not. You're, you're not. I can. You're not. You don't have a, a, a an accent that they have. So there. because <laughs> because. You're, because you're not, and you sound goofy. You just made up something. You just said Egypt. You're somewhere in the Middle East, but just not Egypt. And, and so, you're ashamed. You're ashamed to say where you're from. You just said Egypt because it sounds kind of good. Because bro, I know you're ashamed. Relax, to say I, relax. I can hear your insecurity. You're trying to be goofy and troll your way through it. But you're very insecure about you having to flee the Middle East and go somewhere and drive a Uber. You're, right, you're insecure so, so, about it. So you assuming, because I don't have an Egyptian accent, American Egyptian accent, you're assuming I'm not from Egypt. You're this ashamed is how racist, of where you're This is how racist you are, bro. You're ashamed of where you're from, sir, and I'm not. No, no, no. See, the thing is, the, there's a difference. I, I know where I'm I'm a foundational Black American. I know. I know where I'm from. Ooh, you don't. No, know you where don't. You're from, you right? don't. No, what you country don't. are you from in Africa? No. If you, dude, I ain't nobody in my family's been in Africa for centuries, sir. I'm a foundational Black American. My family is from here. We built the United States before there was a United States, sir. So what are you talking so, uh, about? Are you, are you gonna keep muting me, bro? Or are you gonna have like a conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I I don't want a Seven Eleven hot dog. <laughs> you don't right, get so... the back. You're the one. <laughs> you you the you don't back here. <laughs> look look look. So check this out. You you're being very sure. racist, and you're calling me names, no, right? No, oh no, because you're not being honest, and you're trying to troll, and I'm not allowing you to troll, and you're getting frustrated, sir. You're not gonna because you're already corny. You you didn't have any wit back home, and you don't have wit here. So we don't let corny, unfunny, unwitty people just kind of take over. No, we don't do that. We have decorum here. Bro, that's part of you assume well, them not. That, that's part of foundational Black American culture. We have decorum, sir. We're not just gonna let you run amok like you're in Hamas or some shit or ISIS. All right, calm down. Now, where are you really from? 
Alright, so this is who you guys support. Some racist prick over here trying to call people names 7-Elevens, right? This is who you guys Sir, where are you from? Because you've been very disrespectful, and I'm not allowing you to be disrespectful, and you're trying to project because you have vitriol towards I, I already told you where I'm from, kid. And if you're gonna keep I don't I don't I just I just don't believe you, sir. I, guess I don't that's believe fine. You. you don't you don't need to believe me, right? Or not. Okay. You're just making a now, fool sir, of yourself. You believe sir, me that's you project that's you that's you projecting, sir, because you made a fool of yourself by fleeing your homeland that this you failed it. in. All right. You failed in your homeland and you had to flee. And you're very insecure about that, sir. And you're trying to project that onto me. This this is who you guys' leader is, who you guys want to listen to. Some and and your leader Somebody is, is being very racist because I don't have an Egyptian American accent. He assumes I'm not You just keep saying nobody's right? being racist. He says he said he said You just saying shit, sir. Nobody's racist towards you. You're just saying stuff because you don't really have an argument. You're very frustrated because I'm a foundational black American who stands on business and I don't flee. And you did, sir. And that's what it boils down to. That fleeing thing bothers you, doesn't it? Right? No, no, no but nobody fleed, buddy. Yes, you I'm did. actually... I'm actually American as it gets. I, I am no, Egyptian. You, right? Not with that. Born... No, uh, um, no, you are a foreigner who immigrated here thanks to my family building a place where y'all can flee to, sir. <laughs> nothing. You can ha 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 nini ham ya all your ass off. That don't mean nothing, sir. All right, I'm, I'm going to leave you with this, bro. I'm going to leave you. I really didn't come up here to clown on you or, or make jokes. Right? Because you don't have but, the but wit. I, I, no, no, no. I really just came up. Because you don't have the wit to clown on me. You've been corny the whole call. So you can't clown me because you're not witty enough to do so, sir. Go ahead. I appreciate, I appreciate the comments, man. That's very uh, mature of you. So this is who you guys follow and who you guys want to advocate for, right? It's somebody that's being very racist, doesn't give anybody Nobody's a chance. Nobody's being racist. I really... You, you're trying to... First of all, you done fled over here. You talk about you Egyptian, and you ain't really... The people over there ain't the real Egyptians anyway. They're not... You know, those are foreigners and invaders themselves, sir. If you want to go there... Because I can get real deep and technical, sir. The people over there now are invaders. They're not the aboriginal people there. Uh, those are basically Turks over there right now. You dig? So y'all have an identity crisis. We don't. You see? All right. So you have a beautiful night, man. I really just came up here to see how far back you could trace your history. You said the 1700s. I told you. It's not very, it's not very impressive to trace yourself only to the 1700s. You should do a little sir. bit more digging. You you have sir. you are more powerful. You come from a more powerful family. Sir. You guys don't really have birth certificates over there, sir. How are you gonna tell me what I can't trace my stuff back to and what's not impressive? A lot of y'all don't even have birth certificates, sir. How dare you? Really? You gonna really talk about tracing lineages back? Y'all can't trace your lineage back that far, and you know it. Oh, he got out of here. Don't you dare try that. These cats, most of them don't have birth certificates. They don't even know what day they were born, let alone some ancestors. You can't. No, 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 no. We don't play that game. You don't play that game. Yeah, y'all not the, the real Egyptians. Y'all not the comedic people. All right. Who is this? Um, I've had you on before. That I've seen that name before, but I don't know. It might be kind of trollish. I don't know. That block, blockle something. What time is it? We've been on here, man. We've been holding heavy and steady. We've been in here a long time. Let me get up out of here, man. I got work to do. It's one. What time is it? I'm in LA. It's damn, boy. I've been on here a long time with y'all. I've been having a good time chopping it up. Let me get out of here because I've been on here for a long time, like three and a half hours, man. Damn. My wife over here folding clothes. The dogs, I don't know where they're at. 
anyway, let me get out of here. Look, everybody, go to rootworkstyle.com to get your rootwork deodorant. Rootworkstyle.com. Phenomenal deodorant. And also, if you want to learn some history, man, go get the book Hidden Heroes from A to Z. Um, it's a great book for kids, young adults, and the whole family. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com, hiddenhistorymuseum.com to get that phenomenal book. And also, we have an event at the Hidden History Museum, February 24th. Come on out and party with us, man. We got a, our one-year anniversary at the Hidden History Museum, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Go RSVP and join us. Um, I hope the conversation, I, I tried to be as constructive as possible tonight. A lot of white supremacists called up, a lot of different people from different cultures called up, and I wanted it to be constructive. As long as it's constructive, that's all that matters. Anyway, guys, I'm up out of here. Shout out to the FBA family. I'm out, and I bid you a farewell in the foundational Black American Tut language, which is Papi Akute. La la vuve to the family. Peace. From the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror Root. Our unique blend, enriched with this legendary root, offers 24-hour protection, rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice.